Italy 5, uh, Japan, Victor Alpha. Indiana 5, uh, J Japan, v Victor Ray Alpha. Calling Security X, Secure Dog x ray North America to the Long Park. Italy 5, Japan, Victor Alpha. Italy 5, Japan, Victor America, Security X and Line. So uh, here is the basic schematic of the receiver. Uh, it's pretty simple, um, but you can even uh, remove more parts if you want to keep it uh, a lot simpler. For example, if you want to remove, you can uh, remove the switch. If you just want to connect the receiver to a battery or a power supply, you can remove the LED indicator. You can remove the diode, you can remove the 100 nanofarads, you can remove the 220 uh, microfarads capacitor, you can uh, remove the 10 ohms resistor, but uh, yeah, um, it's improving the sound a little bit to the amplifier, but not much, it's filtering the, the power, uh, the electricity that comes from the power supply. Uh, but if you're using a battery, then you pretty much don't need this one, and you don't need this one, and you don't need the, the resistor either. For the um, coil, I uh, added numbers here, num uh, 1 and 2, 1 and 2 for both L1 and L2. This is uh, to make it easier for those uh, building uh, circuits for their first time and how to connect the, the coil. Also, there's one... Uh, a 1 and a 2 here, if you want to replace the variable capacitor with a diodes uh, tuning circuit, I'm going to show you that in a little bit. And uh, yeah, if you also, you can, if you want, uh, you can uh, change the connections here, and I'm going to show you in a little bit, uh, you can add an RF preamplifier and uh, so on. But I'm going to put the schematic in the video description, um, a link, so you can download it. Here is the RF preamplifier. It's pretty simple, uh, you just change the connection here to L1, um, to be honest uh, it's not improving the, the receive uh, capabilities of the receiver um, a lot, but you can notice a little change. Uh, what I like it for is that uh, it seems that uh, it's removing a lot of that uh, background noise uh, that you usually have. <laughs> And uh, of course, it's uh, acting as an antenna attenuator with this uh, 10K um, potentiometer. Anyway, here I have uh, the circuit for um, re to replace the variable capacitor. Also, as I was telling you about uh, the connections, uh, you simply build this one and then you replace the variable capacitor. Um, if you use a multi-turn potentiometer, then you don't. Uh, you just use uh, this one. Uh, you don't have to add the second one. But in case you don't have one, you just use uh, two potentiometers, 10k each. This is main tuning. This is fine tuning. It works this way as well, and I actually like it uh, uh, pretty much. Um, I don't think I'm gonna waste my money on multi-turn potentiometers for. Um, um, <laughs> you know, uh, small and simple receivers that don't really uh, have uh, amazing results, uh, but uh, they're fun to they're fun to build. This is a switching system from uh, transmit to receive. Uh, in case you want to use uh, uh, the receiver in a combination with the transmitter, and it has uh, the LED indicator. Uh, from receive to transmit, so you're gonna use a switch with uh, two positions and uh, also two sides. On one side you're gonna connect the LEDs and the resistor and the power in the middle and one LED for each side. You can pick the colors. Uh, I liked uh, green and red. Green for receive, red for transmit. Um, if you do this and you add this one, uh, you don't even have to use uh, the LED from uh, the original schematic uh, that indicates you the power because you already have uh, one LED. I used both, but then I realized that actually I don't really need the other one. And uh, yeah, let me show you the switch. Basically, it's uh, pretty much a very, oh, let me see if I can focus. It's a simple switch with uh, 
six pins, three for one side, three for the antenna side, three for uh, for the LED side, and uh, here's the coil. But uh, we're going to talk about the coil a little bit later. And um, the receiver, what can I say? I mean, uh, if you expect uh, magical things from this one, they won't happen. Uh, but it does uh, it does have uh, great results when. Um, when it's a good propagation, um, I've heard stations from all over the world, um, especially with good propagation. But um, I can tell you from Romania that um, I hear um, stations from Italy, of course from Romania, uh, Russia every single day, every single night I hear Russia. That's why I even named the receiver Sputnik after the Russian satellite. Um, so yeah, Italy, Belgium, Serbia, Poland, uh, Spain, UK, Ireland, France, uh, Denmark, um, Sweden, I don't know if I said Sweden. Here you have a little detail about the coil that I'm using. It's made on a 13 mm uh, PVC pipe for electrical wiring. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, the little coil is the antenna coil, the big coil is the main coil that goes to the receiver and um, the distance between the two coils is uh, 6 mm. I like to keep about 10 mm from the bottom to the first coil so I keep the both coils uh, away from the PVC, um, PCB board and from the rest of the parts as much as I can. Um, the main coil, the antenna coil has uh, 8 turns, this one has 22, the main one, and uh, the way I make them is pretty simple. I drill a hole through the uh, PVC pipe with a sewing needle, I drill another hole in the other side, uh, the exact uh, opposite side, and uh, I just pass the wire through, then I wind as many turns as I want, and uh, from the same way I, for example, on this one I take the end I put it through the PC, uh, PVC pipe and I take it out on the other side and that's it. Uh, the way I like to connect it um, it's um, for example the the beginning of the antenna coil the bottom part goes to the ground and uh, the other one the top side and uh, which is the end of the coil goes to the antenna. On the other side the beginning of the coil goes to the variable capacitor and the end goes to the transistor and this way uh, it's like a nice flow in the coil and uh, yeah pretty much that's it so um, here's a little demo of the receiver now we're in the CW part of the 40 meters band Uh, the propagation is not the best, it's morning time, uh, usually I don't get uh, too much propagation in the morning time. Um, here's what I was saying about the, the potentiometer, just make sure you get a, a linear one, not the one that I've got. If you hear the noise when I'm moving, And uh, that's why I call the receiver Sputnik. Let's see if we can get anything else. Not much happening right now. Feeling this is Italy. Let's repeat your call a couple of times. Repeat your call, your call a couple of times, please. Repeat your call a couple of times. Yep, definitely Italy. <laughs> um, I recognize the, the voice. 
So, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty simple. This is the tuning control, power control, power LED, audio output, volume control for the audio amplifier, um, region control, but sometimes I'm also using it as fine tuning. But usually I'm setting in one spot and it stays like that. Uh, it has a little weird noise. But uh, I don't get to move it too much. And this is the RF attenuator. This switch is for the receive transmit mode. I can also set it to output the antenna to a transmitter and uh, this way I'm using uh, one antenna for both the receiver and an eventual transmitter that I could connect through the receiver and here's are the LEDs that are indicating in which mode I am here we are now it's a uh, transmit mode back to receive <coughs> Another call sign that uh, I listen to regularly. Anyway, this is the Sputnik uh, regenerative receiver. Just as I was saying, it's not uh, amazing performance, but uh, it's pretty good. And it's good on bumps too. It's not changing frequency. So uh, yeah, anyway. I'll see you in the next video, in a future video, when I'm gonna actually build the kit step by step. Uh, once I'm done with the PCB board and everything else. Uh, just the kit that probably I'm gonna have it on the blog as well, on the website. You can either build it or um, if you want you can buy it from the blog. And uh, anyway, I hope you like it. It's a pretty cool receiver for beginners. So uh, yeah, enjoy. Until next time, 73.